So, in my previous video on Storm Spirit, regarding the mana loss reduction removal, I've stated that it more or less feels the same. After some more games though, the removal was noticeable a bit more rather than less. But anyway, with the 727B, if the math is correct, we should be getting pre-patch Kaya levels of reduction for free now. With that information, an Orchid Rush makes even more sense than before, as the mana loss reduction is now built into the hero itself and not tied to items. The only difference between an Orchid First Storm and Bloodstone First Storm is the mana region. Both builds cost about the same and at level 12, without any talents, Bloodstone merely provides around 3 points of region more over Orchid. Another bonus of built-in mana loss reduction is that you can farm up a defensive item straight up after Orchid, if the game calls for it. For example, a storm with 10 minute Orchid can have BKB ready before minute 20, just when the enemy would put defensive measures against Orchid in place. And if you've managed to claim a lot of space during your pickoff adventures and the enemy isn't willing to fight, getting Bloodstone straight after Orchid still makes as much sense as before or any other item combination. Bottom line, previously Bloodstone increased both pickup power through mana loss and mana region through the multiplier, making it very desirable item at all stages of the game. Now the pickup power is relegated to Orchid and Bloodstone for Storm will still be the primary means of mana region amp. But because it boosts your currently existing region, the later you get it, the more value you will gain from it. So, what's new for the playstyle? For pickup storm, the pickup potential is now increased, but the mana region remains the same. So, while you will need less mana for large distance jumps, if you're not finding any opportunities to do those large distance pickoffs, your farm will suffer just as before the patch. This is why it is extremely important to get the Orchid as early as you can, to squeeze out the most uptime while the enemy is still laning and does not group up to push or to retreat deeper into jungle and utilize defensive warding. In good matches, you will now find it easier to farm the next item after Orchid, and in bad matches, with less pickoff opportunities, Storm's game will still suffer just the same as before the patch, and maybe either the item build or the Storm pick itself could have been re-evaluated. That is all. Thank you for watching. Good luck.